Revival Community. Curtis Young here with Young LP Lovers, back with part two of Greatest Hits Threads. This is for MGK Boston. I uh, started a thread recently looking at Greatest Hits albums. Uh, in part one, which I'll link to below, I did what I thought were the greatest, greatest hits album, yeah? So showing 12 plus one. I got a few extras in there by cheating a little bit as well. Um, so I'm a big fan of the greatest hits. I have to think one greatest hits album will be enough for an artist. However, uh, sometimes you need more than that, right? Uh, so in the first video, I showed what I thought everyone should have in their collection. In this video, I'm going to show a little bit less uh, less significant, but equally as good uh, Greatest Hits albums, all right? All right, so let's just get right into it, and I'm going to kind of cheat a little bit right off the start, uh, and I'm going to give you some Motown stuff. Uh, so do you need every Gladys Knight in the Pips album? Probably not. Uh, greatest Hits would probably be enough. I'd say the same about Diana Ross, yeah? Do you need everyone? No, an early greatest hits, a leader's greatest hits. That's probably all you need, right? Uh, Marvin Gaye, you need what's going on. Uh, I also have uh, I Want You, the one with the, the iconic cover with the dance hall. Uh, that's a good album as well. But do you need every Marvin Gaye album? Uh, probably not. A couple of a 60s greatest hits and a 70s greatest hits. What's going on? That's probably all you need. Now, this is a pretty decent collection. Uh, as well. So uh, I also have uh, Temptations. I can't find it right now uh, on the same series. This is, of course, a Japanese series. Uh, let's see the numbers here. We've got 10, 124, 121, 129. Uh, so if I could, I'd like to get that whole uh, series. So that's number one. Yeah, so I'm cheating a little bit. We're going to go from uh, Motown kind of soul to more funk, disco funk. We're going to go with uh, sorry, the best of Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, again, I don't think you need every Earth, Wind, and Fire. Uh, this is probably sufficient for most people. Uh, gotta get you into my life. Maybe the best Beatles cover. Maybe better, probably better than the Beatles version. Okay, I'm gonna put it out there. Mm, I might get some hate for that. Uh, but maybe the best Beatles cover for sure. Uh, I know a little help from my friends. I hear that, but uh, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going with this one. That's super funky, man. Uh, September's on here. Great, great album. Great album. Sticking with the funk, we've got Sam and Dave. The best of Sam and Dave. Uh, I'd like to have more Sam and Dave, to be honest with you. But this is all I have, uh, but it is just funktastic. Right? Uh, just fantastic. Uh, if you like funk, you know Sam and Dave. KC and the Sunshine Band, a little bit more disco funk. Uh, again, do you need everything? Probably not. Uh, this Greatest Hits is enough for me when I want to shake my booty. More funk, Sly and the Family Stone. Uh, look at this, look at this. <laughs> that is something else, right? Uh, yeah, again, I probably could have a couple more Flying Family Stone in my collection, but this Greatest Hits cannot go wrong. Let's go to some reggae now. Uh, we have the great Jimmy Cliff. Still with us, Jimmy Cliff. He's in his late 70s now. I just listened to an interview with, uh, on CBC recently on uh, uh, Q. Uh, really good interview, actually. Uh, but yeah, this has some of my favorite Jimmy Cliff songs on here. Keep your eye on the sparrow. Wonderful people. That's a wonderful world. Beautiful people. The harder the come is on here. Many rivers to cross. You can get it if you really want it. I mean, uh, yeah. What can I say? Jimmy Cliff. Absolutely iconic. But right, let's go do some Latin stuff. Uh, Perez uh, Perado. Perado, yeah. Perez Perado. Uh, the greatest hits. Uh, so this is kind of uh, Latin. Oh, he does a little bit of everything on here, actually. He's got a little bit of mambo. 
the, the first track on here is kind of almost a, almost a flamenco sort of track. Some kind of cumbia leading stuff. But do you need do you need everything? No. No. This has some of the biggest ones. It's got uh, Mambo Number no. 8 on here, which is a big track that was read. Or sorry, Mambo Number no. 5 was the one that was redone in like the 2000s. It uh, became a popular hit for someone, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, so it's got a uh, number of good Latin tunes if you're looking to shake your booty as well. Now the next one, uh, I don't know if I'm cheating a little bit here. Uh, this is it's a compilation. Uh, is it a greatest hits? Well, it's got all the greatest hits on it. It's a Japanese-only compilation. Did Nina and Simone release the greatest hits? I don't think so. I might be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know down below. Um, but, oh, it's all in Japanese. Uh, so, yeah, it's a Japanese-only compilation, but it's got all, all her hits on here. Uh, now, do you still need more Nina, Nina Simone? Of course. Now, you can't have too much Nina Simone. But uh, as a taster, you can't go wrong with this album. Uh, it's not cheap. It's not a cheap album. Uh, but still, as a taster of Miss Nina Simone, this is great. Um, yeah. The great Nina Simone. In a similar vein, this next one uh, is a Japanese-only uh, compilation, Gold Disc. Uh, the series that they uh, released in Japan. Uh, and this is, of course, Aerosmith's early stuff. Uh, I think this was released in 79, or sorry, 78. So it goes up to uh, around that era. Uh, Dream On, uh, Walk This Way, Sweet Emotion. I like all that stuff, you know what I mean? Like, I, 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 I dig it. Uh, so I think uh, as a early Aerosmith compilation, again, do you need everything? I don't uh, for Aerosmith, but I do enjoy uh, some of these greatest hits. I actually enjoy some of the 90s stuff as well, because that's when I first knew uh, Aerosmith. A lot of people don't like that era. I don't mind it. Uh, speaking of the 90s, uh, or 80s into the 90s, this one almost made my must-have uh, list. Uh, this is The Goat. Uh, this is LL Cool J, L Ladies Love Cool James. Uh, this is All World, they call this uh, compilation. It's got his 80s output and his 90s output uh, across two LPs. Um, yeah, back to, to the mid 90s, I think. 93, I see on here. 96, yeah, uh, to sort of the mid 90s uh, output. Uh, if you, if you like El Cool J at all, uh, get this in your collection because it rocks. Rock your bells! All right, again, 90s, uh, growing up in the 90s, coming of age in the 90s. Uh, guilty pleasure, maybe? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own it, man. Mariah was everywhere. I love her early stuff. Like, uh, what, what, what was what was something? I'll be there. That's I think that's a Jackson Five cover, right? Uh, she does that beautifully, man. Um, Vision of Love. That's kind of more really soulful kind of stuff with her powerful uh, voice. And then I like her kind of collabs with like the ODB and Fantasy, or uh, she does a collab with uh, Jay Z and Heartbreaker. Right? Great stuff, man. I, I enjoy it. Uh, so Mariah Carey, number one to infinity. I've uh, seen Mariah a couple times in concert. Uh, there is another. This is, next one almost made my must-have uh, greatest hits as well in the first video. Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, I think everyone needs a little Simon and Garfunkel in their collection. And why not the greatest hits? Uh, do you need every Simon and Garfunkel album? I don't. Uh, I've got quite a few, though. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, the greatest hits is probably enough for many people. So that's number 12. Yeah, so 12 plus one. Uh, one more. And I'm going to go for my plus one. I still have, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 more greatest hits that didn't make these lists. I'm going to go with John Denver. Uh, John Denver, uh, greatest hits. Do you need every John Denver album? 
I certainly do not. Uh, but this does Take Me Home Country Road, which actually might be on the Jimmy Cliff album as well. Um, was it Jimmy Cliff who did that? Mm. Anyway, I'm not sure. Uh, it's got, and then Rocky Mountain High. They're the two that stand out in my mind, the two that uh, I bought this album for. But the others are pretty, good, pretty decent as well. All right, so uh, that is part two of the great, my greatest hits collection. Part one, the greatest hits that everyone needs in their collection. Part two, some other really good greatest hits that you might want to pick up. All right, so that was for MGK Boston, uh, a new channel to me. Very good, though. Link in the comments below. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.